Does anybody know how many of these get installed each year? I think in the order of, uh, you can check that, but uh, I, think, uh, I read a figure that was in the, port, in the order of something like 10 gigawatts. That's in Germany? No, globally. A year. Yeah. And these things last 30 years. Um, basically, what we have here is a diesel generator. Okay, As I thing. said, you know, <laughs> why do we have that here when we have this wonderful sun out there? You're leaving the CO2 producing sector. You know, I always jokingly say to push that red button over there, you know, the emergency stop. That's what we're doing. Yeah. Well, it's actually not on, but the, the thing is, this part of the is the diesel, right? Yeah? And so this could power a ship or anything else. This part uh, is the generator, the synchronous generator. And this part looks exactly the same, regardless of whether it's a diesel generator or a coal power, power, power plant or a nuclear uh, plant, or th any kind of thermal plant. It's just going to be a lot bigger. Uh, but the thing is, it, it's going to work the same way. And this kind of illustrates the, the reason, the, the problem that we have, one of the interesting things when we started looking at storage was that we found now, our question was, you know, looking at islands, but then also, you know, why are islands different from the mainland? Next question. But looking at islands, you know, how much storage do we need yeah, for what kind percentage of renewables? And the interesting thing is because in any power grid, I mean, it's like a market, uh, you need you know, the supply always needs to equal demand. Too much power is just as bad as too little power. The problem that we have is that in order for this thing to be able to adjust a little up and down, it has to run at something like 60%. In fact, most coal-fired power plants run at 90% in order to adjust 2% up and down. Uh, de facto, I mean, the modern ones maybe have to run at 70. So, but the point is that you, know, you cannot switch this off frequency, or voltage control, or all these things, the, the generator always has to be running. Now what uh, some, uh, another group did, they looked at an, uh, at an island called Bonaire, um, and they wanted to build a, a diesel wind system where they wanted to have 80 per, uh, yearly average, an, eight, uh, an, an, an annual average of 80% uh, uh, wind and 20% diesel. They didn't manage. They, you know, with all the tricks in the book, they managed to get to a maximum of 60, 40 wind diesel, but that was only, only for the peak. So annually, they were down to 30%. And, you know, and that's, uh, this is what a lot of people don't realize. We often have politicians in here, and then, you know, when we say this, you know, I mean, they, there's a, there's a maximum of something like 20, 25, 30% renewables. And politicians go like, oh, glad we're past that in Germany because we're already at 25. Huh? Is that, and I said, no, we, are, uh, we have a pan-European grid in which we have 7 to 8% renewables. Uh, <laughs> and uh, we're actually exporting our problems. Um, a question so the, on the... the, the, you, the you mentioned the percentage for coal, you, and there's different natural gas plants, but what what uh, what percentage has to be running for that to keep? A really modern natural gas plant, maybe 40%. Which uh, is coal? I know, uh, natural gas, because you mentioned coal. I don't, yeah, I need, need to look that up. Modern the, point, the point is, you will never get to anything approaching 100 or even 80% renewables as long as you have these things running. Yeah? You need to switch them off. And that's why we built the hall over there. And oh, oh, well, that, that's why we have the battery over there. Um, to, um, because you need, the, the interesting thing is, you need, it's, it's really very short term fluctuations that you need to balance. I mean, it's easy to have this in standby uh, and let it, you know, you know, you have this in standby maybe for a couple of hours, maybe for a couple of days, maybe for a couple of weeks. Yeah? And the, what we found out when we looked at islands is that the question, you know, basically that's a question. If you look at an island and you want to change that to a renewable system, then you have an equation with three unknowns, essentially. How much wind to install? How much solar to install? And um, what capacity uh, of storage to install? 
and you know the, the difference between rate of power and energy. I mean, are you all familiar with that? Yeah, I, basically, I mean, I, I always use the analogy of, of a big uh, uh, water um, tank. Huh? Think of the tank or the volume of the ta tank as the energy, and then you have a, one pipe that connects the tank to the outside world, and the diameter of that uh, pipe is the maximum power. So you know any sort of you know storage device can only take in the uh, uh, its maximum power, give out its maximum power, uh, up until such a point when it's full or em empty. Um, so the rate of power of the system you know because that's going to be your peak load of your, your your island system. But what you don't know is the capacity. The interesting thing that we found out about this is looking at the island of Graciosa was that um, a four-hour energy backpack so-called energy backpack, would already get you to a, 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 an average of 60% uh, uh, renewables. Along with the wind and solar. Yeah, with wind and solar, and the rest is, of yeah. course, uh, diesel. Right. Okay. Let's go. Yeah, okay.